The primary task of a university is to educate. But to teach well, professors must be informed about new developments in their disciplines, and that requires research. Yet many universities cannot afford to support faculty research adequately. So a lack of funds for research adversely affects the degree to which a university can fulfill its central mission. Which of the following most accurately expresses the conclusion of the argument? So let's just map out what this paragraph is trying to say. So they say the primary task of a university is to educate. So that's what a university needs to do. But to teach well, professors must be informed. To teach well, professors must be informed about new developments in their disciplines. And that requires research. So you have this chain of support. Research leads to informing professors. Informing. Informing professors. And then that leads to teaching well, at least based on the argument in this paragraph. Teaching well. Yet many universities cannot afford to support faculty research adequately. So a lack of funds, so a lack of so a lack of funds for research adversely affects the degree to which a university can fulfill its central mission. So all of the statements before this last sentence, they're building this argument. They're saying, hey, look, if you don't have if informed professors, they're not going to teach well. And if you don't have research, you're not going to have informed professors. And so then they, may, they join all of these cha this chain of support together for this conclusion that a lack of funds for research, that if you somehow don't have this, then that's going to lead to not teaching well, which is the primary task of a university. And so actually, we can even make that the last step. Primary, primary task of a university. So let's see which of these statements actually describe that. So that if you had a lack of research, that all of a sudden a, pro, a university is not able to fulfill its primary task. Choice A, in order to be able to teach well, university professors must conduct research. So choice A is describing this part right over here which is a sub-conclusion that in order to be able to teach well, university professors must conduct research. In fact, it's this part. It's going from research to teaching well. But that's not the entire conclusion or the entire chain or logical chain being argued for here. So I would rule that out. What you'll see in these questions is sometimes as possible choices, they might put supporting facts or supporting claims, or they might put sub-conclusions. But what we're really going to go for is the full conclusion. Lack of financial support for faculty research is the root of ineffective teaching at universities. So this one's similar. This is saying, look, if you're not researching, then you're not going to teach well. So it's getting all the way through the logical chain, but not fully through the logical chain. So I'd also. This is close, but I'll rule this one out. Let's see if we have a choice that makes more sense. Effective teaching is the primary mission of a university. So this is this part of the logical chain, that teaching is the primary task. But this is clearly not the conclusion of this entire paragraph, where they're saying, hey, research leads to improved prof professors, leads to teaching well, which is the primary task. So once again, it is a sub-statement. Lack of funds for research reduces the quality of education a university provides. OK, so this is interesting. So lack of quality research reduces the quality of education. So education is a little bit broader than teaching well. And you could argue that that is the primary task. So this one does look interesting. Let's look at choice E. New means of funding faculty research at universities are needed. Well, it's not making that statement. It's not saying new means of faculty funding at research is needed. It might even, it might, it's just trying to say that lack of funds is making it hard for the university to fulfill its mission. So I would rule that one out. And I would go with D. This is the closest one. Lack of funds for university research. If you take that away, then you're going to take that away. You're not going to be able to teach well. And then you're not going to be able to 
educate. It's close to B, lack of financial support for faculty research. So B and D, the, it starts close, is the root of ineffective teaching. Here they're saying reduces the quality of education. Education's a little bit closer to the primary task.